Hi you guys, welcome to my Curious Crafts, this is Shan, and in today's video we're going to be making a bow using the Easy Bow Maker because it's Bow Wednesday. Let's get started! Okay, as you can see, we're going to measure out 10 inch tails and we're going to have 6 inch loops. So we measure out to 10, we're going to place that in between the dowels, and then we're going to turn our ribbon over. And we're going to measure out to six inches we're going to place a finger there we're going to pull it back and we're going to place that between the dowels and we're going to twist now we're going to do the exact same thing over on this side here measure out to six pull the ribbon back through the dowels we're going to have four loops so now we're going to do the exact same thing measure out to six place it through the dowels flip our ribbon over measure out to six pull that back through the dowels now we have four loops and they're six inches each we're gonna go ahead and measure out to ten for our tail and we're gonna cut this ribbon off because we're done with it okay you guys I wanted to let you guys know that we will be announcing the winner for the um, bows for October for sharing the video and I'll be doing that on next week. So I wanted to keep you guys abreast on that. Alrighty? Alright, here we go. Ribbon number two. Ribbon number two, we're going to measure out to 10 for our tail. We're going to pinch. We're going to place that in between our dowels. I got it wrong. I measured out to eight. But we're going to measure out to 10. We're going to pinch. We're going to place it between the dowels. We're going to flip our ribbon over. We're going to measure out to five because we want five inch loops. So we're going to measure out to five. We're going to place our finger and we're going to pull it back through the dowels. Okay, now we're going to flip that ribbon over and we're going to measure out to five on this side as well. So we measure out to five, we place our finger and we pull that back through the dowels. Okay, great, good to go. Now we're going to measure out to 10 inches for our tails because we're only going to have one loop on each side for this ribbon. Alrighty. Okay, you guys, this is our third and final ribbon, and we're going to measure out 10 inch tails. We're gonna place that between the dowels. We're gonna flip that ribbon, and we're gonna measure out to four for four inch loops. We're gonna place that down. We're gonna take that ribbon between the dowels, and we're gonna do the exact same time. I'm sorry, we're gonna do the exact same thing three more times because we're gonna have four loops for this ribbon, okay? Okay, you guys, I hope everyone is having an awesome day today and do something good for yourself and do something nice for someone else if possible, okay? 
love on yourself a little bit because self-care is so important. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to add a little bit of this accent ribbon that came from the Dollar Tree for the center of my bow because I want to cover up the zip tie and today I'm not going to be placing any other type of embellishment in between my bow. So I'm just going to cut it out to about 12 inches. 12 inches is a bit long, however, we want to make sure that we have enough and I'm trying to get this bow made in a hurry. So 12 inches is good to go right now. So you see? how it covers up the center of the zip tie, and we don't have to worry about that. Now we're gonna do a little bit of fluffing on our bow to get the desired look. As always, you guys, I wanna thank you so much for taking the time out to spend with me today. I really appreciate your time. I don't take it for granted. Please check the playlist for more bow tutorials, and here's a quick look at our project today. Thank you so much, and have a wonderful, blessed day. Don't forget, to be entered into the drawing, share this video. Bye.